Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, guys, so as you can tell from the title of this project, this is an Urban Gems project. Um, I told you guys, I showed you guys this box, and I promised that I would make a belly band for it on live with you guys. Uh, give me one second. I'm trying to wait for some people to join. I know it's really, really early. Okay, so let me get out of here. Give me a second, guys. Hi, Lisa. What's going on, girlfriend? Let me do this. Okay. So, excuse my desk. I know it's a mess. There's, like, glitter particles and everywhere. Hey, Tiffany. Good morning, everyone. So, guys, I showed you guys this box. I bought another one. I actually bought three more of these because I'm so much in love with it. Hi, Luz. Hootie hoo. So, this box right here is from Urban Gems, right? And so, I painted it which is this here and this box is so cool it slides out guys there's this plastic part here that slides out excuse the glare from my um my lights but you know i you can do whatever you want to alter this box but i first thought that i would paint it and then i would create a belly band to go over it i thought that that would look cool but you guys can totally hi veronica good morning hootie hoo Guys, that's a night owl call. I need all my night owls to say hootie hoo when you get on this live. So you can even put like pom-pom trim around here. You can do like some trim around here. You can, um, I think it would be really cute if you decoupage. Is that how you call it? Decoupage? Whatever. You guys know what I mean. Like, you know, put some glue and then put napkins here. You can do so much to alter this box. Good day for me. My daddy is poorly. And I did a 300-mile drive yesterday to visit him. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Lisa. I thought the glare of the light was the belly band. No, it's the glare from the light. I'm sorry, guys. So you can do so much to alter this box. You can put so many things in here. I decided to put, like, some little knickknacks and stuff like that, which um, I'll get into in another time. But this is the box, guys. It's from Urban Gems. It was super cheap. I think that it was five dollars or three dollars if i'm not mistaken there goes tiffany hoo -hoo. <laughs> so guys make sure you grab this from urban gems she also has another box that has like a, um, a hinge here and it opens like this so i love grabbing boxes to alter especially from dollar tree so when i saw that urban gems had it i was super excited Luz, can you link urban gems for me please mama um, so guys, if there's not any more of these, let me know if you look on the site, if you are interested in one, make sure that you guys message me on Instagram or something like that, or comment on this video and let me know that you want to get some of these and I'll see if Tara can get some more of these. Cause guys, they're amazing. I really love this box. So let's get to it. I don't want to make this video long. I have a lot of things that I have to do. So this is my first time making a belly band. Thank you, Luz. And so I already went ahead and I pre-cut. And you guys know I don't like to measure. Like, I just was just like, let me see. I just cut a piece. And I like this thickness. I'm not sure if I want to go around it this way or go around it this way. But I'm thinking this way. I'm thinking I want to go around it this way. So this is some of the pattern paper. You can make this as thick or wide as you want. This is about two inches. And I don't know how long it is. It's over 12 because I had to glue another piece to extend it. Because the 12 wouldn't go around. Hi, Precious. How are you, girl? And then I also grabbed another piece of paper to layer it on top like this. And I did some stitching. You can see it's all wonky and shit, but that don't matter. And this one is, let's see, an inch. And I don't know, what is that, a fourth? I'm really bad with measuring, guys. So anyways, I just measured it so that some of this can show as well, okay? So I added some stitching to it. And um, I think that I want to add some trim on the bottom piece. So let's do that. So what's going on, guys? Happy Tuesday. I was going to say Monday. How was everyone's Memorial Day? So I'm going to use this uh, trim from the Dollar Trawl. And let me see how I want to do this. I want to put it on top of here. But I don't want to, like, take too much away from this. So let's just see. If it's too much, I'll glue it on the bottom. I should just go ahead and glue that down together. See, I think it takes too much of the yellow. But I really want to show that. Hmm. 
Let's glue this down. Should I glue this down? Let's glue this down. So I'm going to mess with it. So have you guys ever made one of these belly band things before? I've never made one. Hi, Sam. I do have yellow lace. Wait, do I, I don't think I have yellow lace. No, I don't have yellow lace. But I don't want to put yellow because it's going to be too much yellow right here. I don't want to put yellow on yellow. Guys, I've been loving yellow. Like, I usually don't like that color. But I have to say I've been loving it. Let me poke a hole in here. There we go. So I'm going to put some glue. I'm going to go ahead and layer this. I'm going to put a lot of glue. Just so... I can move it if I need to. Hey, Cruz. There's never too much yellow. I've really been loving yellow. I'm obsessed with the Sweet Story collection. Like, when it first came out, I bought it right away. And then I wasn't able to play with it because I didn't fool with that chick. But then all my friends were sending me. Evelyn started with the Marigold. She sent to me a design team project. I was like, oh my God. So I'm going to glue that there. Pink lace. Oh, I don't know if I got lace. Loose, we lose, we're using this because I have it here, girl. I can, my room is such a wreck right now, guys. I'm so embarrassed. So we're using what we have right now, which is this. We got to make it work. Plus, I like the colors. Like, I use it within my um, projects. So, I wanted everything to be cohesive. All right. So, there goes that. Let's make sure I get it all the way down. I'm going to creases. Good morning, Eve. How are you? I really want to put it like this. I think it looks better under. Yeah, let's just do it under and then forget the rainbow part. Even though I want to show it, we'll just have the pom-pom showing. Let's do that. And I hope I don't run out because you guys know Dollar Tree only gives you nine feet. Should be enough. So let me use my hot glue. I've been missing you guys. I wanted to go live yesterday, but that didn't work out. Okay, let's do a little bit at a time. I gotta hurry up. For the strides. Damn it. All right. I'm gonna glue it like that. Yeah, I like that. Just add a little texture, you know what I mean? Good morning, creatively, Shonda. Oh, I love that name. I like it under the pom-pom. Yeah, I think it's too cute too, like that. So guys, I'm just going to show you a simple way of how to do a belly band for whatever. You can do this for your projects. You can put this over an embellishment box. Good morning, puppy. Come give me a kiss. Good morning. You look so handsome. Go get to my give you some cereal, and I want you to be real quiet because I'm on live, okay? All right. So, this is just a really simple way. When you're measuring your paper, I would definitely do it bigger than what the project is because it's better to have more that you can cut off instead of having less. You know what I'm saying? This pom pom trim is so pretty, guys. Hi, June. Welcome. Good morning. So if you're just joining, we are making a belly band for a box that we altered from Urban Gems. Let me see. I had a busy morning, guys. I had to go to my daughter's school to go get her another computer because her computer messed up. And there's only like a couple weeks left of school. 
They're going to be off like the end of June. Good morning, Natalie. It's about time you got up, girl. Thank you so much for linking it loose. So, guys, again, if you're just joining, we are making a belly band for a box. That box that I promised that I was going to alter with you guys. I told you guys I'm going to make a belly band for it. That's what we're doing. Okay, so look at this. How it looks. I like that. It's pretty. It just adds some texture, you know? Let's snip that off. Okay. And then let's do the other side. So we're uh, making a belly band for this box here. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. So let's go ahead and do the other side. This trim is so pretty from Dollar Tree. I'm not going to tell you guys how many I bought. Because you're in my business again. Don't do that. What the hell? Okay, I got to flip it. Don't dry on me. Okay. To do the other side, you got to flip it. No, don't dry on me. Wait. Okay. Damn it, it dried on me. Fucker. Hello, Tata. You must have heard someone speak your name, girl. Go ahead, Elijah. Thank you. I'm in a good mood, guys, because I got my Starbucks. I had my um, double smoked bacon cheddar sandwich. If you have not tried that from Starbucks, like, what the hell are you eating from there? Because that's the best thing on the menu, for one. And I had my strawberry lemonade refresher. So I'm in a good mood. All right. So if you're just joining, we're just making a belly band for this box from Urban Gems. We're alter an altering a box. She's probably tired, Lexi. Me and Lexi been out in the streets. We're going to the streets. The streets are calling our name. Damn, I hope I don't get copyrighted for that shit. Okay. Yes, girl, that's the bomb. I'm not a coffee drinker. So I know you coffee drinkers are like, what the hell are you doing drinking a refresher from Starbucks? I hate coffee. Give her another bottle, baby. Thank you, girls, from Dollar Traw. Dollar Traw coming through. So this is how it's looking in the front. This is lopsided, damn it. Okay. See, I knew that I was gonna use the end of it. This is the last of it. So when you go to Dollar Traw and you see a cute ass trim like this, you have to buy them all, okay? I know some of you guys wanna be nice and share. But with this one, look at how quick it goes. All right. I like coffee, but definitely prefer a nice, cold, refreshing drink. Yes, coffee is life. See, I knew all the coffees lovers were going to come for me. Like, girl, what the hell are you doing drinking a refresher? They're the bomb, though, guys. Like, you need to try it strawberry and then there was a time where starbucks was doing the kiwi something kiwi i would mix um i had to mix a little bit of the kiwi drink with the strawberry lemonade it was so good guys and those bastards had the nerve to stop selling it what the hell's wrong with starbucks get your shit together so this is what we're left with okay here goes our box and let's start measuring it so I have to figure out if I want to have the closure in the front or in the back. What do you guys think? We're going to put some of these. I forgot what the hell they're called. What's wrong with me? What is it called, guys? Velcros. 
Should we have the Velcro be in front or on the bottom? I'm gonna do it in front so that it's easier for the recipient. So let me kind of like, I want to measure this so this is in the middle. We're winging this, guys, because I've never done a belly band before. So you can always trim your paper, but I'm not going to. A little bit more like that, yeah. So I want to put my Velcro here, and then I want to embellish it here as well. Let me see what you guys are saying. I'll take anything with caffeine, fancy stitching. Thank you, girl. I'll have to see if they do it over here. McDonald's do one in the summer, though. Really? So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start folding this. So I'm going to crease it to the box like this. Just like that. You hear my elote man glue? I want to put one of my rosettes, but we'll see how, we'll see which one looks better. But I really want to put one of my rosettes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to clip this. Damn it. I don't want to clip it. I already folded it down. So here's the back. I'm going to crease it a little bit as well. Good morning, Ebony. Okay, so I'm going to crease that. So what I was thinking was... Some of you guys saw these on Instagram on my reels. I made a couple of my cupcake liner rosettes. And I was thinking about using one of these. And this is what they look like. So I just used those cupcake liners from Hobby Lobby for a dollar. Hi, Leslie. I used these cupcake liners here, the same one. They're a dollar. And I made my rosette. And then um, I created a glitter mix. This is it here. And let me show you guys what I used. I used some of this confetti here. It's only $1.99 at Hobby Lobby. I added... Some of these that I hauled, these little leaves from Michaels. I put some of those in there. And then I put some of these that Tara sent me. They're from Dress My Craft. And Tara, let me know if you're putting these in the shop. I believe she is. But these are the pineapple slices. Because I wanted to have a pop of yellow. So I just mixed all that together. You guys know I love making my little glitter mixes. And that is what I just took hot glue and I did the edges. So I like them. I think they came out really fancy. So I don't know. I'm thinking I could just put this here. I'm gonna make it go sideways. So I definitely have to trim this a little bit. Hmm. So I was thinking about covering this with a rosette. But I do have some bows. Let me see. You guys can do any embellishments. Here's another embellishment that we made on the live one day. You can do a skate. You guys tell me what you think. Sequin sales starting today. Also 25% off all sequins in the shop. Woo! Tell me what you guys think. Okay, this is for a uh, sweet story themed projects. So you do we like the skate to go in the middle? Do we like the rosette? It's kind of bothering me because it's all this shit in here and it's clear. Rosette. Hi Gina. Or I do have a bow. I made some of these bows. And I put some of this pom-pom trim on the bows. So we can do a bow. What do you guys think looks best? I kind of like the bow. So the bow 
And then we can put a cute little middle in the middle. The rosette. I feel like the rosette's a little bit busy. Or the skates. Bow or rosette. Y'all gotta tell me one. Good morning, Nadine. Everybody cast your vote. Skates, rosettes, or a bow. I kind of like this one because it matches. I like the bow too. Bow. I think the bow too, guys. Yay, bow. Okay, bow it is. So let's see how this... Let me put my Velcro down. Oh, wait. Let me trim this down to like right here. Let's trim this. Okay. And then let's put our Velcro down. Damn it. Did I do it too short? Bastard. I knew that was going to happen. What's wrong with my baby? Hi, Denise. Yes, the, the box is a box from Urban Gems. Tara, do you have any of these in the shop? This is the box from Urban Gems. And it slides out. It's got this plastic where you can slide out. I just painted it with this pink parfait apple barrel paint. And I only had to put one layer on this, guys. All right. So let's do this. Let me put my Velcro. You guys can get Velcro from Dollar Tra. Can I be cheeky? What? What does that mean, girl? The hell you talking about, Leslie? So I got these at um. Hobby Lobby because they were smaller than I feel like they were smaller than the other Velcros from Dollar Tree. You get a lot in here. It was half off for a one fifty. How many cupcake liners did I use to make that one? Just one. Hi, Kuita Boo. So we're going to use these. I'm getting so distracted right now from my kids. Um, yeah, I just used one cupcake liner, but I made a bunch of these. I made a bunch. Okay, and I glittered some, and then I put some without. I just used one cupcake liner to make the rosette. All right, let's put this down. Elijah. Okay, these are stuck together. I didn't know that. Let's snip this. I think I want to do two. I should have did these two. I don't know. I think I should just do one. Hi, Connie. Let me see what Leslie's saying. And mention something on my channel. Say that again, Leslie. I'm not understanding. You know us Americans don't understand that slang. You said cheeky? What is cheeky? All right, so I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to stick the other one on top. So you guys can use these belly bands to put over an embellishment box. Or whatever. We're just going to be using it for this box in particular what the hell I should have put it on the bottom of this <sighs> ok 
Can I take this off? Yes, I can. I don't like that I could take that off. What's up with that? Here, let's do this. I'm going to hot glue this because I don't like that that's moving. Go upstairs, baby. Love I love you more. Let mommy finish, okay? Okay. Let me stay down here. No, go upstairs with daddy for a little while. All right. So let's take this apart. I got to let that dry really good. Here, I'll let the top one dry. And then... I'll uh, secure the bottom one. Because when I pull this apart, I don't want to pull all the glue apart. Asking if I can mention something that's on my channel today. Of course, Leslie, yes. I don't know what cheeky, cheeky meant. Yes, Leslie. And then I'm going to put my bow right here, right on top. So that she can lift it up under here and open it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna have to glue it down. Just like that. Tata, are these still available? But you guys can embellish your belly band with whatever. I like to use my embellishments, guys. Um, People are always asking, what do you do with your embellishments? You can use them on your other projects. So there's that. And I think I want to put a strawberry in the middle. Hopefully I can find it. Let me find a strawberry. So once this dries really good, that hot glue... I want to secure the bottom piece. Is this box for me? <laughs> Not this one, Quita. Yes, tell your sister to serve you some cereal. Tell her mommy said. All right, so put your Velcro on there. So they can open it. I mean, it doesn't really need it, but it's just to dress it up some more. And she can always like use this for something else. And it opens right here. <laughs> Oh, my God. I have a giveaway open to all. PayPal is the prize. Yay, everyone. Make sure you are subscribed to my friend, Leslie. Um, she is in the UK, and she's having a giveaway with a PayPal prize. Okay, make sure you guys go sub to my friend's channel, our Night Owl, fellow Night Owl. I'm going to put a, in the description box the link to her channel for everyone who watched the replay. I'm trying to think how to explain what cheeky means, and I literally don't know. I knew it was like some kind of term. That you guys have. Okay, so let me grab. Here goes my strawberries. Ooh, I got shit falling everywhere. So I got these from Rhoda's kits. Yeah, explain it. Come on. All of us uh, U.S. people want to know what the hell cheeky means. I'm like, what cheeky? The hell? I thought you maybe you misspelled something. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick that right there. I could add a dangle, but I'm not. I don't feel like it. But if you want to be extra, you can put a dangle. Oh, that looks perfect for Sweet Story. Let me hold it down. Sassy? Hmm. You learn something new every day. Okay. And then I think I want to put gold foiling on this box. So anyways, you can just open it here. See, I knew that was going to come up. Let me glue this. So now we see that this Hobby Lobby adhesive on the back is just crap. So secure the bag. Let me hold that down. Let it dry. Hi, Zuma. Today we are the early birds. No girl, we're still the night owls. We're just up early. We haven't slept. Some of us haven't slept, girl. 
And I like these little, like, um, the strings hanging off. So, guys, you like my bows? I stitched on them. Since I wasn't able to, like, participate in the boho swap that I did, I wanted to make some extra ass bows. Do you guys think it's extra? I could put diamond dots here. Let's put diamond dots. I could have put a lace. Uh, ooh, it would have been pretty if I would have put some gold trim here in the middle. Is it too late to do that? Let's see. Let me see. I have this lace here. And maybe we can like glue it here in the middle. I like that, guys. Let's do it. Let's let that dry. Let's start from the back. Let me do it. Let's put. Thank you, Zuma. Try to make it as straight as possible. Do not try this with Gaga Silver. You will ruin your project. Just kidding. No, I'm serious though. Go will look best. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Like I said, you or you, that's what my friend Tim Holt says. Your sewing looks so good. Thank you so much, Quita. It's not me, girl. It's my machine, girl. I hope everything will fall out. So if you guys have not, Terrell, you didn't, uh, I didn't see whether you answered me or not on how many of these boxes you have. Do you have more? Are you going to order? Do you guys want these boxes? If she doesn't have any more, they're really inexpensive. I think they're like $5. I grabbed three of them. No caca silver. Okay. Let me take this belly band off because I have to make sure that I don't want to take it off though. I don't want to fuck nothing up, guys. Don't put your belly band as tight. I think I put it too tight. Okay, should have them by Friday. So I will blast it on Instagram. You guys better be following me on Instagram because that's where you're going to know all kind of updates and deals and stuff like that I post on there. I love the gold. Okay. And then this last part. Hi, Bevy. Welcome, girl. Hi, Norma. Welcome, Mama. I hate I'm late to the tutorial. It's okay, girl. It's You can rewatch the replay, but it's so simple. We just grab two pieces of paper. We're just layering. My It was getting upset, and I'm getting upset that she's upset. My daughter's ain't paying no mind to her. Hi, Sonia. Pucci, this is the last week for Pucci Mami Creative Challenge. I know. I'm thinking about extending it again, guys. What do you guys think? Because I feel bad I have not had time to do that YouTube video for my YouTube friends to join that did not know about it. But I don't know. Do you guys think I should just go ahead and draw the winners? And don't be answering because you want to win already. Like, tell me honestly. Or should I give it another week or two? What do you guys think? On my night owls, tell me. Damn it. There we go. See that jazz it up really nice. Okay, so now we got our belly band. Okay, open it and close it. Oh, why is it looking up like that? I don't like that. 
I don't like that. Let me see. See how this is like flapped up? I don't like that. No, draw the winner. You just want to win, Gina. Be quiet. Do another week. I know I need to make a YouTube video. So I think I'm going to extend it <laughs> for another two weeks. Oh, God. I've just been so busy, guys. Let's do another Velcro because I don't like how that's... Um... I don't like how that flap is out there. It looks tacky. Yeah, it's bothering me. Where's that other piece that I already cut? Yeah, YouTube does need to know. I'm going to do another two weeks. I'm going to extend it for another two weeks, and that's it. Sorry, Gina. You got to wait to see if you want, girl. Going to have to wait another two weeks, baby girl. Guys, I even got even more sponsors from the last time. So there's a lot of prizes. Um, What did I do with the box? Here it is. No, no, no. You can be a part, Lisa. It is open to international and to the states. All my international people have a chance to win a $25 PayPal and a $20 PayPal. Hi, said Thank you, Mama. I won by default because I was first girl. <laughs> mm. Y'all some savages with these giveaways. My goodness. All right. So let's put the other one here. Let me turn it so you guys can see what the hell I'm doing. Don't put a lot of glue like me. Let me put this one directly in front of that one. It's still a lot of glue. Thank you, Mama. Guys, when I wanted, when I went and got my nails done. They were acting like nobody knew how to do marble. I said, I wanted marble nails, and then I wanted bling on the middle one. And then they, the guy was like, Chi-Chi going to do your nails. And I was like, Chi-Chi? He's like, yeah, only Chi-Chi. And I said, why Chi-Chi? And he said, the only Chi-Chi knows how to do it. So Chi-Chi tried to put some of those, what do you call those, those sticker things they put on your nails? And I was like, no, baby girl, I need you to paint these marble nails. Because, guys, they charge a lot to get your nails done. So, baby girl, you're going to put in work. It's not like back in the day where you can go get your nails done for $25 and get the little airbrush and shit. Remember that, guys? I can't, lovely. My craft supplies are packed away. Oh, while we do house renovations. I miss crafting. Oh, I know you do, girl. Yes, join um Leslie's. All right, so let's put the other piece to that. What the hell did I do with it? Here it goes. Thank you, Mama. But I was like, Chi Chi girl, baby girl, no. Because it wasn't the color I wanted either. I'm sorry, guys, but last time I went to go, me and my daughter went and got pedicures for her birthday and man, and we got our nails done full sets and we paid two hundred dollars so i was like oh hell no like i don't care if i don't like a crack in it you're gonna fix that nail i'm sorry all right so i stuck that one there and then she this was like really dark i was like oh line that up a little bit i'm sorry i'm particular i wanted to say give me let me do it let me show you girl i was gonna give her a link to a tutorial so I'm putting some glue there. All right. So I'm going to let that dry. But this is how she's looking. So if you're just joining, we are altering. We altered a box from Urban Gems. It slides out right here. And then you have all your goodies right here in the inside but i wanted to jazz it up and i thought that a belly band would look perfect how does it look guys what do we think 
Yes, girl, 200. I was like, what the hell? So let me tell you guys, um, the next time I'm like, I'm going by myself. Because, you know, my daughter, she's 14. I'm not going to be getting her nails done every damn two weeks. No, she's not old enough for that shit. It was just for her birthday. We'll I'll take her them to get manicures next time, not full sets. Um, so I went to the, this new place. And the girl, I just wanted like a pedicure and to get a fill-in. So the guy's like, no, you don't you don't get a fill-in. You got to get a full set again. And I'm like, what? Why? And my nails grew so much. And she clipped my nails. And I was like, what the hell? All right. So what are we going to do next? I'm going to put, I think diamond dots will be too much. Mm. Okay. I want to go foil this. Okay. That's what we're going to do. So anyways, I go to get a pedicure and the girl's like, you no, you need to get this pedicure because it's it's the it's the best kind. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she gave me a menu for for pedicures. What the hell is going on? Like, since when do they have menus for pedicures? What did Lucy? Let me see. I could just imagine you saying no. <laughs> yes, girl. So we're just going to put some glue here and there. I was like, Chi Chi, don't put that sticker on me, girl. So just lay your foil flakes. Did you guys, the guys, these foil flakes are available at Urban Gems as well. She has copper, caca silver, and gold. You guys need these in your stash. Pass on the caca silver, but get the copper and the gold. So anyway, she gives me a menu, and there's all these different kind of pedicures. I'm like, girl, just give me a regular pedicure. Like, I'm looking for the cheapest pedicure. She's like, no, you need tangerine dream. She's like, you need Tangerine Dream. She's like, you need it. No, she didn't say I need it. She said, it's the best. She said, it's the best. Because if she would have said I need it, I would have been like, girl, what you trying to say about my toes? Ain't nothing wrong with my toes. But she's like, you need it. I said, okay, well, if you say I need it, I guess I need it. <laughs> it was a $50 pedicure, guys, but it was so bomb. Like, I've never experienced that. She brought a tray out, and it had, like, little trinket trays. And it had... um. Like some kind of salt, orange salt. It had like, I think it was um, a scrub. Oh my gosh, she put the stuff in the water. It smells so good. And then um, she made me like pull my pants, pants leg up. And she like scrubbed the shit out of my feet and my legs. It felt so good. It was like, um, you guys know how you get those exfol exfoliating scrubs? It was something like that. And she, like, scrubbed the shit out of my legs. And supposedly, it was supposed to be, like, a 45-minute treatment. And it smells so amazing, guys. Like, the tangerine thing smells so good. I was like, ooh, that smells good. I paid $50 for the scent. And then, um, what else did she do? She, like, took some kind of liquid. I think it was a wax. And it was hot. And she beat the shit out of my legs and my feet. <laughs> and then um, she put the wax all over my feet. And um, it like, I don't know, it was so cool. It was really cool. So I was like, okay, girl, I see why you said I needed this, even though you want my money. I only do my nails for vacation. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to treat yourself. Yes. And I was like, I'm treating myself today, baby girl. You have a boyfriend. <laughs> Uh, yes, those are the best pedic pedicures. I love how you put the foil. Thank you, Mama. Those are my favorite pedicures. I've never experienced that, uh, Tiffany. I'm really used to... Um, Thank you, Tara. Box looks amazing. Poochie, when I lived in a shy, I used to go to Asian Nails on North Avenue in Bucktown. They were also nice, clean, and not pricey. Girl, that's so far from me. Norma, I'm all the way on the east side, like the southeast side. It's really far. <laughs> Tara, like, don't be telling people don't buy the silver. Haven't had acrylics in years. My broke college butt thought it was cute. 
I like the acrylic nails. Hi, Nadia. Did she rub hot rocks on your legs? No, girl. But she beat the shit out of my legs with the wax. <laughs> She's like, it's the best for you. I'm like, okay, girl, why well, I need the best for me? Plus, my hubby was paying for it. I was like, go ahead, girl. Give me it all. <laughs> so, yeah. But I love the way Chichi did my nails. I said, Chichi, you're my best friend now, girl. And I was showing her pictures of Elijah. Because I wanted her to do a good job of my nails. <laughs> No, but she was really sweet. But do you guys remember back in the day where you could get your nails done? You can get a full set for $25. And they used to do that, <laughs> that basic ass airbrushing. I should have went in there like, I want my, my uh, nails airbrushed. They would have been like, what? So I'm just adding these gold flakes, guys. Because I have this um, kind of throughout my projects. Oh, shit. Did I glue to my nails? Oh, my God. Look at what you did, Gina. Oh, hell no. Nah. I'd be ready to fight when those rocks are hot. No, they never put rocks. Mine rub sliced oranges and lemons. Ooh. 25 for each, 5 for Fred. Yes, girl. Okay. So if you guys don't have these flakes, grab them from Urban Gems because you could they add a lot to your projects. This little extra detail. And I've been doing this throughout the my entire all my projects, so why not finish it off with the box? A full set is when they put the full set, they start from nothing. A fill in is when you already have your nails done. When you already have the, the tips on but it grows out. Then they just kind of like fill it in right there. That's the difference, Luce. But I want to take my husband to get it, to get his feet done. But we never have a damn babysitter, so I don't know how that's going to work. Chi Chi ain't going to be rubbing on my man's feet without me being there. Uh uh. <laughs> I play too much. I get white tip on my toes. Ooh, you fancy girl. I love what getting white toenails. Back in the day when everything was reasonably priced. I know, girl. Yes, I did it all the time back then. Those were the good days. For 30 bucks, you can, yes, girl, you can get a full, a new set airbrush and a hand massage. I'm Next time I go, I'm going to be like, um, baby girl, you charged me $50 and you didn't rub my feet long enough. I love getting my feet rubbed, guys. But yeah, I'm going to have to take my hubby and get him the tangerine dream. I'll be like, girl, give my hubby the tangerine dream. But don't be rubbing too good. Because I know where you work. Okay. So do you guys like how this looks? Damn, I feel so ghetto. I don't get my nails done at all. Nadine, go treat yourself, girl. I usually don't like to... You know, I used to always do my own nails. But since I was already taking my daughter, I'm like, let me go get my nails done. But it's good to treat yourself just to go get a manicure, you know. Go treat yourself, get you a little gel uh, manicure or something like that. They're going to try to get you for the no chip, man. They were like, the guy picked out the no chip for my toenails. And I was like, I don't want no no chip on my toenails. The nail polish never comes off my damn toes. He's like, no, you need. I'm like, no, I don't need. You need to put that back and give me the regular polish. And then the girl came. She, she said, you need, you need the, uh, she told me that I need the, um, <laughs> the no chip. I said, fine, girl, give me the damn no chip. Bye, Lisa. Yeah, the gel's nice. But honestly, I prefer to do my own nails. But it's okay to treat yourself once in a while. Even go get a pedicure. Let them rub your feet down.
So I'm just putting a little bit of glue, pressing this down. I can't do anything with nails. You don't have to get fake nails. Just get your regular nails done. Manicure. So they'll just like trim them, cut your cuticles, paint them, rub your hands. And let me do the side. I thought I wasn't going to be able to do anything with these nails, but I thought it was going to be hard to deal with the baby and all that. But nope. All right. So let's add our gold flakes. Guys, don't forget when you're shopping with Urban Gems, use my code Poochie 10 Get you another 10% off. Tara has a sale on her, what was it, sequins? Thank you, Mama. Yeah. It was hard when we couldn't go to the nail salon or get your hair done. Not for me, though, because I do those things myself. But it was just the thought that you couldn't, you know, for me. Like, what you mean if I wanted to get my nails and I can't? No. Okay, so I got my nails. My nails were 75. And then my um, pedicure was 50. And then I even got my lashes done for 20. My first time trying the lashes. And I think they came out really pretty. Um, they last for two weeks, supposedly. But they're they irritate me. Uh, I guess like my eyes are sensitive. But it looks cute. I just don't like that she like trimmed it. Okay. So should we add bling? I really don't want to add bling. We can. Should we add bling, guys, to the top? I can't bend down to my toes because I am going down. Mm, Gina, I'm all about the bling. Okay, so let me see. How do we feel about these guys? These are from Eve, I believe. I got these from Eve or maybe Tea Time and Dolls. Yes, no. Everybody, cast your votes. Hey, Lala. A little more gold leaf. I got lashes. I got a strip of lashes for 20 bucks. And they last for two weeks, supposedly. And I got the cat eye ones. Okay, say bling or no bling in the chat. Should we add the bling to the edges? Okay, let's this should be dry. Yes. Okay. Here goes our box. It's beautiful like it is, Poochie. However, little bling never hurt anything. No bling. Bling, bling. Say bling or no bling. Two blings, one no bling. Three blings. Okay, we're doing the bling. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm gonna measure it right there. Bling, bling, bling. Hi, Carmen. How are you, Mama? Oh my God. So I'm cutting these into strips. That's the good thing about these is that you can use them thick like that. Or you can cut them. Oh, 
Okay. I like the pink. So let me put a little glue on the end. Hi, Lana. All right. So let me put a little bit of glue on the end. You don't have to like glue the entire thing, guys. Just do a little here and there. Put some in the middle. And then put some on the end. Just to make sure it's not going anywhere. Pretty. That way if she takes the belly bin off, she'll still have a cute box. Okay. There's shit everywhere. All right, right there. So I'm going to actually cut both of these because I'm pretty sure they're going to be the same on both sides. And then I'll just cut that in half. Thank you, guys. Hi, Rosanna. What's going on, Gangsta Boo? Alright, so I'm cutting this in half. Thank you guys. So this is my belly band um tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Was it easy to follow? Bye, Tiffany. Okay, give me one second. Denise, I'll do it. I'm trying to cut this in half. Okay. Let's go ahead and glue the edge to this. In the middle, and I'll wait for the end. So make sure you guys check out Tea Times and Dolls and Eve Otta shop to get your bling. They have all these beautiful blings that are not available to me here in Chicago. Props to your late night owls. I can't hang that late. <laughs> I'm surprised they're up right now. Half of them are still sleeping. What the hell? This one don't have no bling around it. What the hell's going on? All right, let's do the other side. It's already measured. Do you know what the hell you're laughing at? How do you know, Lokita? So this belly band was super easy to do, guys. Just extend your paper, measure it, make sure you do it a little bit bigger so it can have room to slide off. But we did the Velcro so they could pull it off. But just in case, like, they don't know if it's, like, Velcroed or not. Okay. And then let's glue the edge. I'm not sure if I have a live tonight. I don't think so. And these. Okay. 
And then let's do the last side. Denise, you want to see the comb charm? So I have a tutorial on this on my channel, and I also did a Instagram live making these. Where can I get the bubblegum beads? From Etsy. In my last haul, Gina, you know, I have a link to an Etsy shop that has some beautiful bubblegum beads, rhinestone beads. Okay. I gotta clean the top because it's got spermies all over it. All right, so let's do this last part right here and we're done, guys. I need to put some gold flake right here. Where did my bling go? Does anyone know that I lean move already? I'm not sure. Your ice cream cone charms and cupcake charms are the hit. Thank you. Thank you, Dulce. Okay, let's put this last strip here. I'm going to cut right there. Damn it, I'm thinking my computer is charging. My um, phone is charging and it's not... Okay, let's cut this last strip. I think she's in the process of moving. Working tonight, so I will be up. Definitely will watch that tutorial. The gold flake on your nails. Shut up, girl. I'm going to go flake on my nails. Gina, shut up. Starting shit. I originally wanted gold flake on my nails, but she didn't know what she was doing. I was like, never mind, baby girl. Go and put that glitter. So just a little bit of hot glue. You know, I want them to put lemon slices on my feet, girl. I'm going to tell my husband, baby, rub some um, lemon slices on my feet. I'm going to tell him it's going to save, me, save him some money at the nail salon. Okay, I'm going to put some in the middle. How long did it take? It wasn't long. She did it really quickly. But the wait was long. Because it be packed. So that's why I was there a long time. A couple of hours. All right. So there goes our... Uh, let's put some GoFlix here. Damn, that was a lot. Okay. I need help. My craft room is pressed down, shaking together, and running over. <laughs> same, same girl. We all need help. Hi, Ana La Cubana. Where's Emily? Hi, Emily. You should have give her your YouTube channel, Pucci, and tell her baby girl next time I want some gold foil. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, I, I put glue here and I didn't put any gold flake. All right, guys. So grab this these flakes from urbangems.com. Use my code Pucci10. She has the gold, the silver, and the copper. These are, this is just, I don't know. I really love this, um, my projects. Because y'all know I love gold. And then the back. And then also, she's going to have these boxes available Friday. So you guys better be stalking the sites.
thank you for sending me this box Sarah when she's after she sent it to me and I saw it I had to get to I got three of them so she will sell out quick these are going to be really nice to have in your stash when you're doing swaps or even if you want to make something for someone oh puppy do you like my project Elijah so. you like it yeah is it pretty yeah Okay. I'm still doing oh, your shit. life. Because I'm almost done. I'm still doing my life. I'm almost done. Why are those shiny things sticking on you? It's, um, these gold flakes. Gold flakes? Mm hmm Okay, go over there, they puppy. stick on you? Yeah, I gotta clean it off. Okay. Okay, so now we got the gold flakes everywhere. We got the gems here. In case you want to take that belly band off, it still looks cute. And let's put our belly band back on. You guys can alter this box however, okay? This is just the way that I altered mine. And I'm just going to go ahead and Velcro that. There we go. And that's it, guys. This is our alter box from Urban Gems. We got all the gold flake going on. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Um, I just wanted to jump on here and do this tutorial with you guys like I promised. I should have put some pink stitching here. See, I'm doing too much. But I hope that you guys snatch these boxes while you can. Um, grab these gold flakes from Urban Gems as well. And I'll catch you guys in my next video, okay? I love the way it came out. Talk to you guys later. Bye.